Hi folks, Dan Dell here. If you watch our YouTube channel, you know usually I'm on here selling a diesel truck that we just bought to sell or something. But today I'm selling my personal truck. This is a truck I've had for about a year or so now. It's a 2015 Ford F-250 Super Duty Platinum four-wheel drive and it has got just basically everything you can put on one. I'm gonna take you on a test drive in a minute, but first I wanna give you a little quick walk around. This truck's only got uh, 16,000 something miles on it. You can see, of course, everything is good. It's got a few little bugs on it in the bumper, but nothing too serious. Grill's in nice shape. The headlights are in nice shape. You can look down the sides, everything is straight and there's no dents in it i don't even i don't even think there's any rock picks oh hang on there's there's one rock pick right there i mean that's that's about it truck hasn't been leveled or lifted or deleted nothing on any of that it's all stock has the keypad entry look inside it's got the power folding and power telescoping mirrors memory seats the sony stereo system Heated and ventilated power seats. Both the front seats are heated and cooled in their power. Of course, automatic headlights, fog lights. It's got power adjustable pedals. I'll show you the rest of the interior before I do the test drive, but you can see I have not been in, I don't think I've ever been off-road in it. Um, I did put it in four-wheel drive once to pull a camper out of a field, but that's about it. Looking in the back, it's got these lockable storage compartments. You lock them with the key. They've even got power outlets, which is kind of cool, but they fold down and you got your armrest. It's got a, uh, you can see a 110 outlet back here. There's another one up front. There's your uh, 12 volt outlet. It's got vents for the air conditioning. You can see the mats are perfect. Carpet's perfect. Now my kids have been back here I think there's a, a little spot, but nothing major. My guys are good mechanics. They're not so good at uh, detailing, but you can see under here, of course, you know, 16,000 miles, no rust, obviously. Got the spare under it. Everything's straight as an arrow, just like it should be. Has the tailgate step, which is real handy. Has the rhino liner. Has the uh, chrome tow hooks in the bed i'm gonna go ahead and close this tailgate step up but um bed's perfect it's dirty <laughs> why they wouldn't scrub that dirt? it's just mud uh, i have my three-wheeler in the back of it but um no dirt no uh nicks no dents in the bed tailgate's perfect of course got the uh, backup camera under the outlet there parking sensors all that's good that tailpipe will shine up uh, pretty much chrome I can't believe it anyway I'm not gonna go on but look down the sides it's perfectly straight ruby red clear coat paint in excellent condition you can see underneath no mud look at the body line of the front of the bed is straight nobody's been ramming their bikes up in there it's got a uh, couple little scuffs on these pieces and they were already like this when I got them. That's just, that's just something they do. Even I've seen trucks with less miles that had it, but see a separate storage compartment here that you can lock. Got a subwoofer behind the seat. It does have the, the side airbags as well as the, the front ones. Over here, of course, the seats are power. Um, Got, well, that's all my paperwork. Dash, of course, no cracks, all that's perfect. The only thing I'll nitpick, when I bought this truck, it came from Ford Motor Credit, and the guy that had it before me had just bought it, and I mean, I don't even think he had it a year, but he put some big tires, uh, some different wheels on it, and some 35-inch tires, and apparently he kept them, because when I got it, it was sitting on four steel wheels. And so I had to go buy some platinum wheels and I had the 
30, these 35 inch Firestone tires laying around, I stuck them on so the wheels are off a different truck and they have some little scuffs and stuff, nothing major, but you know, they, since this truck is otherwise just perfect, I'm just trying to nitpick it so nobody gets mad at me over a, uh, a scuff on the wheel. But you see me go around it, now I'm gonna hop in and take you on a test drive. But before we take off, well, let me turn the radio down. I want to go over some of this stuff on the interior. And it never fails, my phone goes to ringing. But um, you see on the dash, this is mostly city drive and it'll do better on the straight highway, but um, average miles per gallon. It shows, it has all different kind of stuff on here. Gauge mode shows your oil temp, trans temp, compass heading you can um has different apps like if you turn the wheel you can see the degrees move it'll show your inclination and all that and if you have a trailer hooked up it'll show you all those controls it's got other information like uh system checks and it keeps up with your uh oil change intervals and all that good stuff everything's controlled on the steering wheel your cruise this controls everything on the dash. It has hands-free, so you can just hit a button, and say call dad, and it'll call your dad. Um, and that's the hang up button. Radio controls. One thing I like, it's got the, uh, the manual mode. You can shift it yourself, or like you see the one through six on the dash, you can lock out gears. So like if you're stuck in traffic pulling a trailer, or you don't want it shifting in and out of fifth and sixth on the highway, you're pulling something you can lock the gears out or you can just leave it in full automatic but I usually just leave it sit right there so I can see see the gears of course it has electric shift four-wheel drive that is hill descent control that turns off your traction control that's hill descent control so if you're going down a slippery hill you know it's not always you don't always want to have anti-lock brakes if you're on a slippery surface so that'll manage all that for you there's your uh, exhaust brake, turn it on and off. Power outlet, there's your tow command. It has upfitter switches if you wanna hook up like extra lights or a winch or whatever. There's your uh, other power outlet, 110 outlet, another 12 volt outlet. This has satellite radio as well as you know AM, FM. And one thing I like about that is you can go, I have the satellite still activated with this travel link, it'll overlay if like there's traffic jams or stuff, it'll overlay them on the map so you'll know to avoid them or it'll offer to route you around them. Plus you can look at the weather. You can pull up weather just like they show the radar on the news or whatever. Like there's no not much weather around. You see all the weather? It's it's real time. It's it's pretty handy deal. Um, of course you have all your radio controls. Sirius CD, USB, Bluetooth off your phone. Good grief. Um, as soon as he quits calling, I'll show you that. But up here, there's extra storage, extra power outlet, USB outlets, uh, auxiliary inputs if you want to plug a game system in or something. Uh, SD card slot. Of course, right now it's got the navigation card in it, but it's there. Um, let me turn my phone slap off real quick airplane mode so you can select the AV inputs or uh, Bluetooth or stereo over here is all your climate it's got um, heated seats air-conditioned seats heated steering wheel um, all your phone controls up on this corner so pretty much everything and and it works it works great I've seen like magazine reviews of the sync system and not all of them were that good but this these newer model trucks have a the sync works great it's not laggy it doesn't um, disconnect or drop your phone or do you know weird stuff all that stuff works good on it of course with these six seven diesels these things are so quiet you could just about mistake them for a gas burner they are really that quiet i've had people hop in this truck and think man is this i thought this was a diesel um 
we'll show you if you can see it through there. Power sliding rear window. Got your sunglasses holder up there. Garage door uh, thing. We'll shut the uh, the moon roof for now while we're driving. But um, you know, it's it's about as close to a new truck as you're gonna get without paying uh, seventy-five or eighty thousand dollars or whatever a new one costs. And this one, of course, has a real steel bed, steel body, so the insurance is way lower. I priced a, uh, I thought about getting a 17 and the insurance compared to this one was just crazy because those aluminum bodies, if you mess them up, not all body shops can work on them. So. They have to be a special body shops and the beds. Well, you, you know, you've seen the advertisements, but anyway, they're they're not wrong. They're okay trucks, but they're aluminum. They're not steel. So, like I said, this one goes down the road just like it should. Doesn't vibrate or pull. I mean, you know, 16,000 miles. There's not, not much I can say that you don't already know. Now, you'll have to forgive my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the very worst roads in the city of Jackson so even though the the video may come out a little shaky rest assured the truck itself has a perfect uh, ride to it there's there's no issues there it goes down the road just like it should everything works it's got the auto dimming rear view mirror still says super duty on the windshield the windshield is a little dirty um, I swear my guys clean windshield from the spit, best I can tell. Um, but I'm going to have them clean it up again before it's delivered. So if you want to fly in, drive it home, you can. Of course, I wouldn't hesitate to go anywhere in it. It's, it's still under factory warranty. Um, the powertrain, I think, is five years, 100,000 miles. The bumper-to-bumper um, -bumper is it's either 336 or 350. But you can extend that since it's still in warranty you can go to the ford dealer or go online and you can extend the factory warranty to uh to go even further and you know it wouldn't hurt um they've been pretty reliable we've had several other 15s recently with uh, one had 120,000 miles the other one had 180 and you know everything worked like it should i mean they're they're good solid trucks and you know the 17s are all new and they usually take a year or two to get all the kinks worked out but uh, they've been building this same basic truck since 99 and this uh, suspension since 05 and so all the kinks are sorted out on these trucks there's nothing surprising of course it's got 440 horsepower 6.7 diesel i didn't delete it because it's still under warranty um, if you want it deleted, you know, call me. We can discuss your options if you're not worried about the powertrain warranty and you want it deleted. Uh, it can be done. Just let me know. But honestly, 440 horsepower in this thing, it's got plenty of power. It will get up and go. And it uses that exhaust fluid, but unless you're pulling a camper, you don't hardly ever, I mean, maybe every three or four months, I'm. Uh, it might need a little bit, but um, in you know general driving, that's that's been my experience. This truck mostly just sits around. I've uh, bought it because I wanted something late model to pull my camper with on trips with my family. Because my last truck was out of warranty and it broke down on me in Oklahoma, and it was just a giant ordeal. But I have a car to drive so most of this truck sits and it's paid for i have the title in hand so there's no you know you won't have to deal with my bank and paying off a lien and waiting on the title or any of that so i just got thinking this this is a lot of money to just be tied up and, and mostly sitting around so i figured i'd go ahead and sell it and since i'm you know we sell trucks generally uh i've always got a truck around we used to just sell motorhomes, and um, now that we've gotten into trucks, I, I've always got a truck available. So 
and there's no reason for me to keep this one just sitting around being parked. So that's why I'm selling it. Nothing wrong with it. No, no issues or anything like that. Um, there's no salvage or flood history. It has a clean title. And like I said, I've got the title in hand, ready to go. Um, some states you get a better deal on your taxes if you buy from an individual and some it works out better if you buy from a dealership so you can either buy it from me as an individual or i can run it through my dealership if you're so if you're out of state whichever works better for you but if you have any questions about the truck give me a call my name's dan dale my number is 601-376-9869 be glad to uh, answer any questions you may have um, we'll discuss pricing uh, talk about the leads if you want to fly and drive it home I'll pick you up at the airport no extra charge or if you want it shipped I can arrange shipping for you most uh, most of my customers from up north in the Midwest and the vast majority of them ship their vehicles and so if you go online and look at shipping costs don't let those prices scare you because depending on how much of a hurry you're in I can save you as much as half off and the reason is most of these guys online especially they're not actual shippers they don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road they're just brokers and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and call the deposit and really all it is is their fee and they all use this one website that's not open to the public to uh, post their loads and for other people to find loads to carry and I'm set up with this website I've paid all their fees and everything to be a member so if you buy from me uh, I'll be glad to find a arranged shipping with a transportation company no charge to you uh, you know I don't charge anything for doing it you'll just if you have it shipped when they drop it off you'll just pay them yourself so you know the payment doesn't go through me I don't make anything off of it so basically you get wholesale prices on shipping and if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So if you're interested in that and need a, need a price, shoot me a text or an email with your zip code, and I'll get back to you with a, uh, with a price on doing it. And if you have any questions, like I said, give me a call, 601-376-9869. Appreciate you watching the video. and hearing everything I have to say about the truck and look forward to seeing you here in South Jackson.